Uh, Thomas was saying a, a significant drop in the number of cases, but deaths continuing to rise. Both deaths and hospitalizations are up on yesterday. Uh, yes, so the, the deaths now, uh, 1,162 uh, in the last 24 hours. That's the highest, uh, the second highest in the, uh, the UK's epidemic. You have to go all the way back to the 21st of April uh, for the day when the only day uh, that they were higher. That was uh, 1,224 back then. But significantly, the pressure on hospitals continues to rise as well. So another 300 people uh, have been admitted to hospital um, in the last uh, 24 hours. So that takes uh, it up to 30,370 patients being treated uh, for COVID-19 now. And, and it just shows uh, that hospitals are, are likely to uh, continue to suffer this rapid rise in the number of patients they're, they're seeing, although the cases have come down uh, on yesterday, yesterday by about 10,000. So today, uh, in the last 24 hours, 52,600 uh, uh, were diagnosed with COVID-19. You have to bear in mind that there are daily fluctuations because of the time of year, all the bank holidays, there's a lag in, in patient uh, being reported and, uh, and so on. So uh, it, it's likely that, uh, that there will be a continued rise in, in hospital admissions and deaths for, for another couple of weeks before the effect of the lockdown is being felt.